Hey, this is Bruno and I'm so excited here because I have the new HHX Anthology Symbols and they're great, that's the reason I'm so excited about. I'm gonna talk and play a little bit just to show you how amazing these symbols are. But the first thing that got me the most was the mid frequencies. You know, it's really hard to get those really great controlled mid frequencies. When you play hard, when you play like heavy stuff, if you have like those dirty frequencies, everything is gonna take over whatever you're playing. When I played them the first time, I really felt like, oh, I have the control in my hands. Like if I wanna play like only with the tip of the sticks, I have it, like I have all the sharp part of playing with the tip of the stick uh, on the bell or more in the body. You have everything there. But when you wanna play like really have like really hard stuff, you have it as well. Like it's massive. At the same time, when you want to go like, if you want to jam with like chart solo and play really heavy stuff, you're in the pick of the solo and then after that you're gonna go like really quiet, really soft, you have it. Like everything like just whoop, go, and then you, know, you have it. That was my really first impression when I put them in my setup. This 22 low bell, it's my new first choice for everything. Like if I'm going to the church in the morning and after that I have some a fusion gig and after that I have some a recording gig and if I have just one choice to make about the symbols, I'll definitely put the anthology in my symbol bag. That's for sure. Everything it's in your control. That's the good thing about these symbols. And I was so impressed because I was talking to Chris and he sh he was showing me the symbols and, and talk about the concept. And at the same time he was talking to me. I was playing. I was man. I, I really can feel this by playing instead of just reading about everything. Oh, okay, the concept is good. But when you play, do you really feel what you playing? What you just was just reading? Yes. I felt that and when I brought them here to my studio I, I was playing recording something to 
to analyze afterwards after I feel the, the symbols by myself I was just listening to the, the tracks I made I was whoa now I have a symbol that I can play live as well as play in my studio for recordings and I have everything in just one symbol that was my first impression of these symbols um, I'm gonna play just a little bit for you play more uh, aggressively on the symbols and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you the the thing I just said about if you want to play like with the tip of the sticks you're gonna have the definition we want to have when you play with the tip of the sticks so uh, let's do it on the drums like you're gonna play like some rock and or heavy metal stuff you have the the when you crash a cymbal you know what you want at the same time if I mean uh, like small bar or maybe like a fusion stuff like the baked potato you have like to play really dynamically the guys are like the bass player is soloing and you just need the, the, the hi-hat to give some reference for your band like the keep the rhythm and everything uh, I don't know the mid frequency is not that super high pitch I, I'm talking about the low bell one it's not the, the super high pitch and it's not gonna cut through the, the entire thing like it's gonna you're not gonna get the attention just because the symbol is like out of control uh, by the some weird frequencies you can jam like in a really quiet dynamic because you know if somebody's playing doing some solo you, you, you want to catch some moments and with with these symbols I, I felt that you can like put some some stuff here and there and you're not gonna take over everything so that's another impression I had with this uh, low bell hi-hat With the, the, the high bell, high hat is different. You have more like the, the high pitch of everything is there. It's massive and it's controlled, but you have more, uh, uh, more volume. If you wanna play more like for rock or heavy metal stuff, you're gonna have a lot of volume to keep that beat uh, like cutting through the mix uh, in a way that's supposed to be in that time. Uh, it's different. I prefer personally the low bell because it's more like for everything and this one for like rock and heavy metal stuff like my band Angra I'm gonna use this high pitch one because it's like it really cuts through in a way that I need to so that's a good one
and here I have the whole setup you have the 22 high bell 22 low bell 18 high bell 18 low bell and the hi-hats 14 high bell and 14 low bell so thank you so much for watching this video and go get yours because I'm sure you're not gonna regret it